Hey there, and welcome back to Hold and Modify. It's Q, your gracious host of YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And today we are working off of my iMac M3. Uh, it's a maxed out spec, so it has the whopping 24 gigs of system memory and has the, the maxed out GPUs and CPUs, which really isn't that much, but I will say the M3 iMac has been very pleasant to use. The 24 inch screen is very large for my uh, old man eyes and I appreciate it. And it didn't cost, you know, the price of a small car. So that was really nice. But the whole reason I'm showing this video is because, well, really it's to show off FS UAE running on the new Apple M3 iMac and what you can expect. Now this is the ARM version of FS UAE. And I've made many videos on how to set this up and, and configure it. That's not what this is. This is for my fans out there that love to see like sysinfo run and, and Lightwave run and all that kind of fun stuff. So of course I'm gonna do lots of Lightwave uh, business in here. And one of the things I noticed right away is like, well, wait a minute, Q, where's sysinfo? I don't, I, don't, I don't see sysinfo. Oh no, oh no. So here we are using the older version of eyebrows because I've not actually updated this uh, virtual version of my Amiga lately. So let's see if we can find a good old sysinfo here all through the wonderful world of Amiga. It says download right here. Well, there we go. Let's grab that. This is gonna go to work eyebrows. No, let's see, I do have like, I wanna do try and keep it a little tidy. I have a downloads folder, here we go. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, I don't even know what version of sysinfo this is. <laughs> I'm just blindly clicking on things and installing God knows what, right? All right, here we go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and Temporarily assigned Dopus to where it's at. That's my fault. I didn't actually run the assign yet. All right, so let's go over here to work. There she is, sysinfo. Boom, yeah, that, that, that's quick. I am using a, a, a trackpad, okay? So the, the iMac comes with a little keyboard and then you have the option of a mouse or the Apple Magic trackpad. I'm using the trackpad, so if you see some really weird clicky mousey things happening, it's probably because you know, I'm trying to use this with an Amiga and it's it's interesting, that's for sure. Yes, I don't have the 68040 library. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's 4.4. All right, so it's detecting a 68060 MMU not in use. Obviously my MMU libs are not properly installed in this particular version, but I mean, this is FSUAE and I don't think, uh, well, there you go. So JIT is working. I wasn't sure if JIT worked in ARM FSUAE, but apparently it does. So. Yeah, I don't have my MMU installed, so you might be thinking, well, this is not gonna be accurate. Well, as we all know, sysinfo isn't really accurate with uh, emulators anyway, but we all run emulators, we all run sysinfo, we all know what the relative numbers mean. This is pretty good. 283,000 dry stones, 295 MIPS, 90 mflops, wowzers, that's pretty awesome. And yes, all the instruction caches are being detected and turned on. We'll go to drives, go ahead and Click on DH0, we'll click speed, and I'm sure this will be something ridiculous. Oh, that's right. If you're using FSUAE, I don't know if this is true of the Windows version or not, but if you go ahead and click on drive speed, this is what you're gonna get. A visit from the guru. So that hasn't changed, there you go. So let's not do that again. And as you can see, yeah, I've got around uh, 82 megs of fast memory, the two megs of chip. So that was a, a fun thing. What about Eagle Player here? Is this gonna do anything? Hey! Eagle player doing its thing. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. I won't know if you can hear this until I edit this video. All right, so that's enough of that. So that that's cool, that worked, neat. You also saw eyebrows working, by the way. I probably should have called that out before I loaded it, but yeah, eyebrows is working. What about Vista Pro, is this gonna work? I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh yeah, look at that, it works. Hey, hey. let's just do something really fast here. I don't wanna, uh, I know some of you get really fussy when I, uh, get into Vista Pro because like no one understands this program. Let's just go ahead and click render. All I did was just load a thing and I'm just gonna click render. Hey, look at that. It's a uh, Atari 2600, sweet. Well, as you know, we can make that look a lot better. We can turn some of these things on down here. Can we do some of this stuff here? Yeah, oh, look at these things. Let's, let's do some of these numbers here. Let's do, uh, let's do that. Oh, let's do random, sure. And let's do this. And then let's go to uh, graphics here. Let's make sure we're using that good old ham eight. Ooh, we weren't using that good old ham eight. So now we're using the good old ham eight. Let's smash the render button again. And what are we gonna get? Is it gonna look like uh, Atari 2600? I hope not. It's taking a lot longer. 
Ooh, well, see, look at that. See, that's starting to look like something that almost looks like a landscape. Yeah, that's like a you know, Atari 7800. No, I, I mean, that, look, look, you can see the potential there. I, I love this program. You do need to spend a lot of time with it, though, to really get the, uh, the benefits of it. But look, here it is, M3 iMac, FSUEE, doing its thing. Is this the cheapest Amiga you can get? Of course not. You know how much an M3 iMac costs? I think they're what? What is this thing? It was like under $3,000 like $2,500, $2,300, I think. I don't know what this thing was. I traded in my old computer, so I got like a, a big discount on it. And, you know, I, I buy like a new Mac every five years, three to five years, I guess. And I trade them in, they give you money towards it, which is kind of hip. That's like the only way to get into the system and, and, and work. Q, why do you use a Mac? You like Amigas and you use Windows computers for your work job. Well, I like Macs because for my casual, you know, internet life and photos and email music, some other things. I, I like Mac. It, it just clicks with me. I don't know why. It just works. I like it. It's fine. But uh, that, that's, that's why I use Macs. And again, this is for people that might be interested in the new M3 iMacs performance with Amiga stuff. So we've shown that. So let's finally go to Lightwave. Here we go. So as you can see, yeah, this is nice and speedy. Um, you know, we're not, we're, doing, we're not doing mode promotion. So this is native AGA chipset. And yeah, this is ridiculously fast. This is about as fast as you might expect from like a Pi emulation, uh, like Pi Mega. Uh, you might expect this from like an Apollo products type hardware, this kind of speed here. Yes, the, we're doing the full eight colors. You can see the yellow. Let's go ahead and load up uh, a shot here. We'll go to my shares here. What do we got? Let's find something Trekky. I like Star Trekky. Plus, you all like Star Trekky. So let's do something Star Trekky. All right, so what do we have got here? We've got 17, okay, boom, we'll do that. Look at that, March 1st, look at, it's almost like I planned this. Oh, did you, did you plan this queue? Boom, that loaded pretty quick. That's over the, this is all on wireless, by the way. My router and server are upstairs. This Mac is downstairs in the kitchen. Yes, I use my iMac in the kitchen because all of the movies in the 70s and 80s said people use computers in their kitchen, so that's why I do it. So here we go, we've got our lovely, uh, enterprise, uh, next gen enterprise here. And if we go wireframe, we'll make this, we're not gonna do the whole thing because it'll take way too long, but I just wanna show that we're not in RTG mode and how can I prove that we're not in RTG mode and, and that's why it looks so fast? Well, when I hit escape and say play, if we are in RTG mode, you wouldn't see this. Yeah, that's right. Because RTG mode breaks the playback of previews in Lightwave. So there you go, you know we're in Amiga native modes and that's how zippy fast it is. Well, what does this actually look like if you render it? Well, let's get up in here and check it out, huh? Let's do a little uh, function F9 because it's a Mac. You can't just press F9, you gotta press function F9. Now you can go to the Mac control panel and change that so you don't have to press function, but you know, I'm lazy and, but, you know, and how often do I run Amiga on my Mac? Not a lot, you know why? I have a lot of real Amigas, I use those instead. Oh, look at this. Look at this 1701D just cruising here in space as it renders in lightweight. This is actually not bad. Look at the speed here. Now, you saw SysInfo, so you already got an idea of how fast this virtual 060 is cooking here in FSUAE. But yeah, it's, this is going well. This is a, I mean, this this is a, if you look back at a previous, I don't know how long ago it was. I've done a couple videos using this enterprise and I showed you how I set it up and got it converted. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's pretty, it, can, it can take a while to render, but I want to just go ahead and let you see it here. Now, one thing I will say right before this finishes rendering, show us some demos, Q. Show us some of those 68060 required demos. Here's the thing. I don't really do demos. If you, any of you who subscribe to my channel, I have over 200 videos. When have you ever really seen me fire up a demo other than state of the art? I just really don't do that. And you're gonna know a demo is gonna run great because you saw how fast this info was. And, if you know, you saw how fast Lightwave's interface was. So the AGA chipset is, is cooking along. It's gonna play demos super fast. FSUE will play any 68060 demo you wanna throw at it, There's without a, without a doubt. And there you go, look at that beautiful girl, that 1710D, she is so awesome. I'm sure uh, Data and Riker and are somewhere down in here playing around and Picard's up here chasing Wesley. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, Beverly's probably over here doing yoga with uh, Troy, right? All right, so there you go. That was pretty sweet. That took one minute and 36 seconds. Not bad. One minute, 36 seconds. And that was at 640 by 480 with enhanced medium anti-aliasing and motion blur. So that's 
that's like a full, you know, legit, you know, close to D1 NTSC frame like you'd have seen back in the day when that show aired. So that's pretty good. I can tell you right now, that did not take a minute and a half a frame to render at this resolution back then when we were doing this for real on the TV show. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is pretty darn quick. All right, well, this is it. It was going to be a quick video. This is the new uh, Apple M3 iMac, uh, the maxed out configuration. But I mean, all that just means it has like one more GPU core and a couple more CPU cores and, and 24 gigs of RAM instead of eight. Uh, I think it has a two terabyte drive in it. But yeah, it rocks with FSUE. There's no issues that I can see. Uh, it, it's, you know, I can get some Amiga fun on here. Having a blast. Hope you enjoyed. That's it for me for now. And again, always open to ideas for videos. I mean, I love making these videos uh, for all of you and for myself. A lot of times I look at my own videos when I forget how to do something. I go back and reference my own videos that I made. That's, that's what happens when you get old, folks. And, uh, you know, I'd look, as you all know, I don't do this as a day job. I do this for fun. And if there's anything you'd like to see that I'm able to do, I'll see if I can do it. You know, just leave a comment below. Um, if it's something I don't know how to do or it's going to be a pain in the butt, yeah, maybe I don't do it. But if it's something neat or it's something that interests me, yeah, I'll do it. And maybe others can enjoy it. And I'll, I always love to give credit where credit's due. So thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I'm done with this video.